this is Pinky, and this will be a quick tutorial on how to create a custom sprint animation that will be available on a toggle. So first to start, I will be going to my parameters, and I will be going to my tutorial slot, which I have made uh, right here, and I will be creating a new one, and I will call this uh, dog run. And I will quickly head over to my parameters. I will add a new parameter. I will make it a float. And I will be renaming this to sprint select, or for better at uh, sprint type. Now, after this has been created, you can go back into this parameter, make it a toggle. And you can pick whatever image you want for it and put it afloat. And I will put its value to one. And so now what I need to do is go into the avatar. And then there should be the base effects of uh, whatever avatar you have. So this will be your locomotion controller. So what your avatar does when standing, crouching, or prone. And for this, I will be going into the uh, standing. And I want it to be run forward here. So what I will do here is I will go to the run forward. I will remove this by going here. And I will drag my sprint select into there. And this will create a blend tree. And from here, I will select, uh, go to parameters, create a new float. I will name this sprint type and then now I go into here I select it as sprint type and I will be adding two motion fields so the first will uh, have our dog run in there and then we'll have our normal sprint which I believe was called proxy underscore run and then run forward so now whenever you have your number as you can see in your box down here the avatar will change their sprinting type so jumping into the game now when i open up my menu and go to the dog run um toggle that we created inside of the tutorials um when you sprint normally this will be what shows up it's just the default sprint forward animation but now when you turn this on it will now be replaced by the dog run animation that we inserted from earlier.